Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be a Q&A about RV living. These are a couple of questions that were asked to me on my Instagram at Rachel McLaughlin. Um, I asked you all over there if you had any questions that you would like me to answer and two of these RV living ones came up and so I thought I would go ahead and answer them kind of together. Now I want to apologize for the loud noise. If you hear like rain it's because um, it's raining outside and I live in a camper and so obviously you can hear it. Um, very easily so ignore the raining noise in the background or my dog playing with my cat it's just real life y'all so um the first question is from monia lavarez paredes oh, i don't know how to say it so she asks if i get pregnant in the next two or three months so i think she means if you get pregnant in the next two to three months, you, would you guys still be living in the RV with a baby? This one is actually a hard question and you probably think, why would this be a hard question? <sighs> well, maybe not because it's a baby. You might understand why that's a hard question. So if you're kind of more, if you watch more of my RV living videos rather than my TTC journey videos, you might not know that my husband and I are trying to conceive. And we are on that journey. If we could get pregnant today, we would. Obviously, we don't know and we can't control that. So, would we bring a baby into the RV? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think I would, at least not in this RV, if that makes sense. Um, I think for space purposes, we are at our max. You know, when I originally did this, I thought, you know, obviously we want to have children surely we could find room for them but living in an RV especially with a large dog and a cat can be kind of stressful <laughs> and at times it's a little overwhelming with the dog hair and um, you know just trying to make sure that they, he gets enough exercise and stuff like that I'm not saying that I I'm not saying that I wouldn't bring a baby into an RV because I think it's wrong or I think it's not good for them. I just really think that in this particular RV, it's only 25 feet, I think. There is no where in this RV that I could put the baby without my cat getting to it, my dog being near it, it could tip it over. Um, if I, for instance, were to have to have a C-section, I could not lay on my bed and get up and get my child like there's no way because it's like getting out of this bed you have to like crawl out of it so it would be really difficult to come back to this with a c-section another thing that kind of fears me is living in an RV in the winter months is not easy we learned that this this year I mean you know we're just not getting out of the winter months and it's not easy I would be afraid that you know my baby would be super cold one night because we forgot to leave the heater on or I mean I know we could run the propane and it would get warmer but I just think that being if I were to get pregnant I would be a new mom and I think living in an RV would just make that stressful and I really feel like I would rather do it and be in a home but on the flip side Say we were to be traveling, RV travelers, and we were traveling the country in an RV and the RV was larger, I would be totally fine with it. If the RV was larger and we were traveling to where we wouldn't be stuck in like a winter storm or something like that, I think I would be a little bit more comfortable with it, but I also think it'd be really hard to do that and you know it just be me and Tyler and not have family and you know people who have kind of done it and been through it so honestly the more I think about it I just don't think I would and I'm okay with saying that I just don't think it being my first time as a mom with a baby I don't really think that I would want to do it I don't think I'd want to live in an RV but that doesn't mean I would never take my children RV living or whatever for an extended period of time. I think I would be totally up for that. Um, so there, that's my answer for that question. The next one is from avburns.rv. 
Yes, what type of flooring do you have and how does it hold up with pets? So the flooring that we have in our camper is, um, it's tile, it's the wood looking tile, but it's just a pill and stick tile. And we ended up for our RV, I think I did a video kind of about like the process of how we put our flooring down. But um, for our flooring, we did an extra adhesive glue because we, um, because we applied the tile directly to plywood. So if you're thinking about doing that, I don't think that this tile is meant to adhere to just plywood. So we put another adhesive. I think, I forget what it's called, the stick and stay. I don't know, I forget what it's called, but we put another glue-like adhesive between it just so it was a lot stronger and would last longer. Um, that's the tile that we used. Um, it looks like wood. I really like it. You can just get it at Lowe's and it's pretty affordable. The other, qu the other part of the question was how do they hold up to pets? Right now, I mean, it still looks really great and we haven't had any issues with the flooring with pets. We honestly haven't had any issues at all. The only thing, honestly, and I hate to even admit this, um, the only thing that we still have to do pertaining to the flooring and we just haven't gotten around to doing it is the caulking. So just like with regular wood flooring, you need to caulk the edges and we just haven't been able to do that yet. And me and Tyler don't really want to mess it up. So I think that's something that we'll probably try to do either this summer or before we sell the camper. I don't really know. I don't know when we're gonna get to it, but it's definitely something we know we have to do, obviously before we would ever move out of it or sell it. I apologize for my voice right now. I have this like weird cough and it's like kind of making my voice scratchy, but those are the RV living questions that you all had for me. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't too long. Um, thank you all so much for submitting your questions on Instagram, and if you have any other questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. A couple other things that I wanted to tell you all before I go. Um, I do have a blog. It's called rachelmclaughlin.com. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. I'm going to try to be posting on there a lot more often. And on there, I would really like for you all to sign up for my email list. If you haven't done that yet, be sure, I'll leave a link below to where you can sign up and subscribe to my email list. That way you all can be notified whenever I have new videos or anything new or an exciting that might be coming down the pipe. I want to be sure to make sure that you all are notified. Obviously, YouTube notification system, it's kind of wonky. You never know if you're really going to get to your viewers. So I want to make sure that if you all want to see my content that you all are notified. So make sure you um, join my email list. I think that's it. I think that's what I wanted to share with you all. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.